Welcome back to Tripa Trading. Today I will reveal with you some secrets of precision trading as I will introduce you to a game. Changing Sniper Indicator. This isn't just a tool, it has the potential to create a revolution in trading. With unparalleled algorithms, it elevates your trading experience by pinpointing high probability setups, empowering you to make informed and confident decisions. When paired with another trading indicator that I will share in this video, you'll possess an unbeatable edge in the market. So without wasting any time, let's open our trading view chart. So this is what our chart is going to look like when we're done setting up our indicators. I'm going to be using a Bitcoin chart in a 5 minute time frame to explain this strategy. First of all, let's quickly remove these indicators from the chart so I can explain everything from the beginning. Now let's add the first indicator of our strategy to the chart. So we will open the indicators table. And first of all, we will search for fish sniper in the search box. After that, we have to click on this fish sniper trend indicator and add it to the chart. This indicator automatically calculates dynamic support and resistance levels based on the trading sessions. And it also helps you stay in command of the changing market conditions, which providing you with clear entry and exit points. First of all, let's modify the settings of this indicator. Then we will see how we will read this indicator. So let's open the settings of this indicator. In the style section, we have to uncheck these options. Make sure you follow my instructions carefully so there is no problem later in the video. So this is going to be it for this indicator. After this, we have to apply another indicator on the chart. So let's open the indicators tab and we will search SSL hybrid plus QQE mode in the search box of the trading view indicators tab. After that, we have to click on sniper SSL hybrid plus QQ mode and add this indicator to the chart. First of all, let's modify the settings of the indicator so that both of our indicators work together. So in its settings, we have to hide these options. Please feel free to stop the video and clearly see what options we have to keep and what options we don't need in our strategy, and we have to disable them. I will explain how we will use these indicators together later in the video, so stay tuned. Before that, we have to apply another indicator on the chart. By the way, if you don't feel like analyzing prices yourself, you can join my free Telegram group. Here I share daily the buy and sell positions I open. The link is in the description below this video. So we will open the indicators tab again, and we will search for custom session high low, and the click on this indicator made by this creator. We only have to change one thing in this indicator. So let's quickly open the indicators tab, and in the input section, we will enable the middle line. Now our setup is ready. I hope you have understood the settings for this indicator. Now let's see how we can read these indicators on the chart. The custom session indicator plots the high and low prices set between the times of the user's input. The time parameters can be used for known session times or the user can define a custom time frame they deem valuable. Highs and lows during specific time frames can serve as an indication of the market's intent. Having visual lines showing these changes in market direction allows the user the frame out market structure for key changes in market direction. The middle line option will also give the user an indication of whether or not price is at a premium or discount based on the direction of the market. So first of all, when the price is above this band, we are only going to enter a buy trade. And similarly, when the price is going to be below this band, we are only going to enter a sell trade. We will open a trade when the custom session indicator creates a high and low level in the market in which we should remember the middle level. The market should be above the middle level of this indicator. And finally, if we talk about the fish sniper indicator below, we will only enter a buy trade if this is above the zero level. And this line should be below the zero level if we want to to open a sell trade. There are a few more conditions. So now that we have an idea of how we will use these indicators in our trade, let's go through the complete rules for entering a buy and a sell trade using this strategy. If you are wondering which exchange I trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on, you can press the link below this video and take a look at Bybit. On this platform, you can easily make a deposit from your bank account and trade over 150 cryptocurrencies. You can use leverage up to 100 times while trading to make profits even faster. In addition, you can use a four price layout to keep an eye on multiple cryptocurrencies at the same time. If you also want to trade on this exchange, visit Bybit through the link below this video. Because through the link, you will get a deposit bonus up to $30,033. So for a buy trade to be valid, first of all, we will wait for the custom session indicator to create a high and low level on the chart. 
After that, we will wait for a few candles till the upper and lower level are at a good distance from each other. After that, we will wait for the market to create a green bullish candle above the QQE band and the middle level of the custom level indicator. And finally, the fish sniper indicator should be above the zero level. So if all these rules are confirmed, we can open a buy trade here. So let's quickly open a buy position here. Our stop loss will be set at the lower line of this indicator, and the risk to reward ratio will be set at 1.5. Now let's see if the price will hit our target or not. As you can see, this was a profitable trade. Now let's see if we can quickly find another buy trade example so that all of your concepts are clear. Here we can see the custom indicator created a high, low, and middle level. And here we can see we have got a green candle above the QQA bands. And finally, to confirm this buy signal, we can see the fish sniper indicator is also above the zero level. So as all the conditions are fulfilled, we can safely enter a buy trade here. We will set the stop loss at the lower level created by this indicator, and the risk to reward will remain the same. Now, let's see if the price will hit our take profit target. I hope you have understood the rules for entering a buy trade. Now, let's go through the rules for entering a sell trade using these three indicators. If you don't want to analyze prices yourself, you can join my Telegram group to get free buy and sell signals. The link is in the description below this video. So, for a sell trade to be valid, Rules are going to be quite similar to those of the buy trade. First of all, we will wait for the custom session indicator to create a high, low, and middle level on the price chart. After that, we will wait and observe a few candles until we have a good amount of distance between the upper and lower levels. During this stage, we will wait for a preferably strong red candle to be formed below the QQA band and the middle band of the custom indicator. And then finally, for confirmation, we want the fish sniper indicator line to be below the zero level, as it is here. So these are all the rules that need to be fulfilled before we can open a sell trade. So after a sell position is opened here, we will set our stop loss at the high level formed by this indicator, which is going to be right here. And the risk to reward ratio will remain the same at 1.5. Now let's see if the price will hit our take profit target or not. I hope you guys have understood the rules for entering a trade using this strategy. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video.